Toyota's production plans in Kentucky, and Kristen Strakalaitis is in San Diego for Lamborghini's North America debut of the Revuelto. Welcome to First Shift. Output of Ford's F-150 Lightning resumed after its six-week shutdown to increase production capacity. The automaker is promising shorter wait times, which, according to Ford's chief customer officer, is about three months, down from two years at its launch. Visit our website for more on Ford's electric growth. Toyota is planning to build a three-row electric crossover in Kentucky for Subaru. According to sources, Toyota will begin production on the collaborative vehicle in 2025. And its North American battery sourcing and assembly location could qualify the EV for the full tax credit under the Inflation Reduction Act. Name and details of Subaru's vehicle have not been announced. For details on future products, check out autonews.com. Let's check in with Kristen Strakalaitis for details on Lamborghini's latest supercar, the Revuelto. According to the luxury brand, it's the most technically advanced Lamborghini. The Revuelto made its North American debut at the USS Midway in San Diego Tuesday night. Hi Angelina, Lamborghini owners, dealers, and potential customers gathered at the historical Naval Aircraft Carrier Museum for the West Coast debut of Lamborghini's newest model, the Revuelto. It's the brand's first electrified supercar. It also celebrates Lamborghini's 60th anniversary. Here's what separates the Revuelto from other supercars, as well as some highlights from its Tuesday night debut. That's the cue, ladies. Although Lamborghini debuted the Revuelto earlier this year in Italy, this is its first showing in Southern California. The real breathtaking moment for many was being able to admire the Revuelto up close. A moment made possible thanks to Ogara San Diego's Lamborghini sales manager, Michael Jernigan's passion for ships inspiring him to hold its debut here. But he says he couldn't have pulled it off without the help of Ogara San Diego's Lamborghini marketing manager, Jeremy Hunziger, who also joined him at the crack of dawn for the Revuelto's hoisting the day of its debut. But despite their long hours of planning, being able to give attendees the opportunity to interact with the Revuelto on the ship is something they are excited to be able to do. Having worked for O'Gara for the last almost decade and, and being put into these positions of, of being able to showcase these cars on a grand scale, it really is a dream come true. And uh, it, it feels very full circle with uh, bringing us here today with the debut of Revuelto. Lamborghini's first high performance electrified vehicle debut also coincides with the brand's 60th anniversary. And with the Revuelto sold out until 2026, proves the brand's products remain highly sought after. Oftentimes, people invest in Lamborghini because they are looking to obtain a captivating driving experience. And according to North America Lamborghini CEO, Andrea Baldi, customers can expect nothing less from its first high-performance electrified vehicle. And ensures consumers Lamborghini will continue its best to accommodate the supercar's popular demand. We want a, a very, um, uh, let me say, um, a cautious process in uh, deciding to acquire this car because uh, it takes also a little bit of patience. But our customers know and the loyal one uh, will wait and so we just want to make sure that we are very clear since the beginning about more or less when the car will be available for them. A combination of the Revuelto's brand new 12-cylinder engine with three high-density electric motors and a transversal dual-clutch e-gearbox makes it the ultimate thrill ride. Lamborghini says the car goes from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and reaches a top speed of more than 215 miles per hour. Plus, with the Revuelto's aerodynamics and design, it also offers customers the maximum synergy between efficiency and style. The Revuelto starting price is $585,000. The Revuelto should help Lamborghini maintain the strong sales it has been seeing this year. Through June, Lamborghini's U.S. sales totaled 1,570 cars, up from 1,480 sold through the first six months of 2022. For more Lamborghini news, check out autonews.com. Angelina, back to you. Thanks, Kristen. For the latest industry news, check out autonews.com. Have a great day.